So with me is Dapinda and Ali, who teach here at the Global Banking School and carry out work at the Global Banking School. Um, very briefly, we're going to talk to you about working and living in London and also about the programmes that you're involved with here. Uh, Dapinda, you have an MBA from another university. How, how do you see your role here now? I mean, what is it like working at the Global Banking School? What sort of teaching programmes are we running here? So if I compare my MBA to the MBA that is being taught at Global yeah. Banking School, I would think the approach in Global Banking School is more practical rather than theoretical. Yeah. Whereas while I did my MBA, it was more based on theory. And once I secured a yeah. job at the Global Banking School and I was in touch with the students because right. I even happened to speak to our partners and then I get the feedback from students. Yeah. yeah. The approach is really good and it is focused that after you complete your degree, yeah. you should get a job. And that is how we motivate the students. Ari, you speak uh, all the financial language here. You teach on mergers, acquisitions, and your interest is really around financial valuations of companies. This morning we had the Global uh, Valuation Olympics for students based all around the world. You were in the judging panel for that. How did you see the students this morning? Were they at a good level? Yeah, I think the most of them is actually on a very good yeah. level and um, some of the teams are actually quite strong in terms of the area of knowledge as well as the in-depth of knowledge because that's still very important. You know all the modelling but yeah. then you're actually like talking about the more general things yeah. but it's actually specific to the company. Valuation is more in-depth of the knowledge yeah. of the company and valuation is very important. Mergers and acquisitions, you know, we see so much in the news about uh, the economy seizing up because of tariff wars or because of fears around Brexit. Are mergers and acquisitions still happening in the UK economy? Yeah, still the number of acquisitions in Europe and UK is increasing. And also increasing. The, yeah. um, the US market as well. But at the moment, because of the uncertainty, I think it's actually the best opportunity for the, the cross um, nation mergers yeah. that the foreign country, the companies are actually buying, the UK companies are actually going to be a good and important uh, yeah. advantage because they are at the moment Undefined. Yeah. Now you both work in London. Uh, here we are in the, the centre of London. We're near Stratford, the Olympic Stadium. We're near the City of London, which is the world's biggest banking uh, capital. Uh, it's ranked the world's best place to do business. Why do you choose to work in London? What's so good about London? So, comparing it from back home, London, I see, gives you an opportunity for growth. There's more opportunity and the culture here is quite dynamic and the policies in the companies, it's based on equal opportunity for all. So that's why I prefer London and working in London because uh, it is a fair society. Yeah. yeah, it's a quite international city. So at the same time, you're actually exploring a um, hmm. different life yeah. in a foreign country, but you also can feel the yeah. you're living still within your society. For example, in London we have quite a lot of big Korean society, so yeah, yeah. you actually feel very welcome. Yeah. How long have you been teaching mergers and acquisitions? Um, around two years now. Yeah. And what are the most impressive things about the students that they take these programs, they graduate? Where do they tend to go to? Okay. Um, based on um, students' experience, it depends how uh, motivated you are. So most of my very motivated students, they actually ended up in the big banks, investment banks. But then it depends if you are not that motivated, the, the, how you are learning is yeah. actually completely different. But um, yeah, most of the students actually ended in financial services, if not in UK, then we will. Great. Excellent. Ari, Dupinda, thank you very much. Thank you.